It's time for Shrine Watch! Shrine Watch is a show where Panda shows you all the birds. Yes, he does. He takes them into the game to show you how they work. Yeah, it's Shrine Watch! Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome back to Shrine Watch. I hope that you've had an absolutely incredible week. Whatever you've been doing, whatever you've been playing, hope you've had a nice time. Uh, it's time to take a little look at the news and the shrine and play some games. So the issue with the new map with absolutely mountains of pallets, 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 all in the same like 20 meters has been disabled. They've kill switched the, what's it called, Grim Borgo. It's kill switched. You can supposedly no longer play it. They've disabled the add-ons. However, on my stream yesterday, I did actually play it twice somehow. Uh, so obviously the rate is not that low. But uh, they've at least admitted that there is a problem with it and they're going to fix it. I believe people have counted and there's 38 pallets on that map, which is an absolutely unreal and disgusting amount of pallets. So good. Hopefully they're going to fix that and do a little hot fix at some point. We thought it was going to be yesterday. It was not yesterday. Maybe it'll be today. I'm not entirely sure. They have also mentioned that they are aware of the two bugs that I mentioned last week. The bug where the killer, the knight, just cannot use his power at all because it bugs out. And the other bug where the killer goes 3,000 miles an hour if you stun him while he's using his power. They both do currently still happen and still work. But whenever that hotfix does come, that will be fixed. And they're also aware of the issue where there are little, you know, little piles of sand or a tree or a bush are spawning in weird places around the map, which are making a lot of just objects being blocked off and making it really tough for killers and survivors to actually navigate around these things. Notably, I keep on getting stuck on stuff as killer. You know, a survivor will run through a little gap. You try to follow. It looks like you'll get through there, but you get fat shamed and you get stuck in the gap. But apart from those, I guess not too many bugs with the new chapter, you know, nothing else completely exploded, which happens quite a lot in the past, you know, they put in a new thing, it affects the code, which affects an old thing, which affects another thing, and it's just a big nightmare. Uh, this should be able to be fixed fairly easily. We have some news about the winter event this year. I'm sure you remember last winter, we had the snowman event where survivors could jump into the snowman and essentially eat a hit from the killer. You know, if you're a hillbilly and you're chasing someone with a chainsaw and they jump into the snowman, you hit the snowman, the snowman disappears and the survivor just jumps out and runs away. I personally found this event really annoying because it changed the game in such a way that the survivors just got extra health states, which made it really bloody tricky to play against. Uh, but this year, a slight difference is that the killer will also be able to use the snowman. So, <laughs> so the killer can waste time in the match they were going to use going around, but they can sit inside a snowman. So I guess you can get some interesting jump scares on survivors, but uh, I don't really know why they've done this. A little bit frustrating, but I'm sure we'll have some fun with it this year and uh, see some interesting usages of the snowman. But Still pretty low effort, if you ask me. This year, we're also getting Christmas jumpers for Rebecca and Ada that you can purchase in the store for Oryx Cells or for Shards. And this is great. I'm super happy. We have confirmation that in the Winter Tome, the Christmas Tome, whatever you want to call it, we are going to be able to unlock the full skins for Dredge and David. So Nutcracker David and the Snowman Dredge. There's also going to be a sweater for Hattie, for Vittorio. Deathswing is going to get a weapon. Huntress is going to get a weapon. And we're going to get a Dredge body, a Knight head, and three charms. So quite a few different items there that we're going to be getting for free, which is appreciated. No word, though, on the Kate skin, the Meg skin, or the Michaela skin. And not loads of news this week, so let's have a look at a couple of cool things from the community. Wing Dog has posted a picture over on the Reddit of a concept for Poultry Geist Dredge, a Thanksgiving skin for the Dredge. Uh, people call him the Turkey anyway, so this is absolutely fitting. And it looks really cool. I like it a lot. I don't think we're going to see it this year, but maybe behavior will take a little bit of notice for it next year. Shane Unreal is creating a map for Dead by Daylight in Unreal Engine 5. Obviously, we're not going to be able to have this in the actual game, but it looks absolutely incredible. The ambience and everything just looks beautiful. And in the past, we did have Behavior upgrade DBD onto the new Unreal Engine. So is there a possibility we'll go up to Unreal Engine 5 at some point and actually see maps with graphics like these in the game? Obviously, this is not going to be happy for people with older consoles and older computers and stuff, but my god, it would be so spooky and atmospheric if the game actually looked like this. With Blizzard making Overwatch 2, maybe at some point we'll see DBD2 where it fully upgrades, you know, changes onto a new system. Maybe they fix all their coding. 
that would honestly be absolutely super, but they've got to keep in mind that when they do that, it's going to lock out a lot of people who have already bought the game, so I don't really know how that would work. But I do think that DVD2 would probably be one of the only ways they could actually go in and make a huge amount of changes that they want to make, things that they messed up along the way, <coughs> nurse, uh, and actually do it better with the knowledge that they've got now, because they've just been adding and adding to their original creation over the last six years, instead of actually going back and sort of changing everything. So I don't know if it'll happen, but I would support it, and I would love to play on a map that actually looks like this. And one of my sort of pet peeves with DVD at the moment is I think the blood point gain. I think it's nice for us to get blood points and stuff, and people to be able to unlock perks quicker, but I think the current way is not the way to do it. Like, you can get so many blood points from a match right now if you play Survivor with 100% extra blood points and you bring in an escape cake or bloody party streamers. You're getting so many blood points for one match that you can do, you know, an entire blood web. You can get a perk, sure, but you can also get so many items. You can get so many offerings, uh, items, add-ons and stuff that you would never ever be able to use them. Then tack that on to the fact that they reduced the cost of a lot of stuff on the blood web. It just means you can get more and more and more stuff. Uh, and I don't think that's the way they should have gone with it. I think if anything, they should have just put more perks onto each blood web and kept it somewhat like it was before. Because then you can get more perks, you can get your completion done, you know, you can perk out your characters faster. But at the same time, you're not just getting this huge influx of items that you will never ever use. I bet that everyone here watching this has got hundreds and hundreds of items that they just have no interest in using and will just sit there gathering dust in their inventory forever. And in the current system with the current blood webs, that is never going to change. However, if behavior have made it so there's always two perks in the blood web and it goes up, you know, to like six perks and you're able to get three perks per blood web, that would reduce the grind massively, but without inflating it to the point where everyone's just got so many items to use and there's no point using a bad item because you can just get you know an ultra rare toolbox or a purple flashlight from just doing the blood webs i don't know i'm not sure everyone actually would think about that to me it makes sense but sometimes i don't always think in the most logical ways but i don't know i think i'm i think i'm fairly accurate there Absolutely an advocate for reducing the grind, making it better for newer players and people to actually get all the stuff unlocked, but not advocating for everyone having infinite good stuff. Because you know what? Survivors, if they want to, or at least me personally, with my inventory and my blood web spending, I could pretty much bring in like a brand new part or a purple flashlight or like really good stuff pretty much every game. However, I don't do so, you know, I don't play Trapper and just bring Iridescent Stone every game because it's super strong. You know, I don't think that I need to. I guess I could. I could start doing that, but I don't think that's very fun, you know. Iridescent Stone, I feel like you're pretty much guaranteed a win. Whereas if you use other add-ons, then, you know, it's going to be more of an intense game. The survivors are going to have more of a chance and all of that stuff. I don't know, just my take on it. So make sure to log in then, get your free cosmetics, have a little fun time, jump into a snowman and... Hope that the survivors don't jump into snowmen if you're playing as killer. So there is our basic and not particularly interesting news of the week. I apologize. Hopefully something interesting comes up soon. But let's jump over now, have a look at the Shrine of Secrets, and then take those perks into some games. Our first survivor perk is a Felix perk. It's fourth time on the Shrine. We have Visionary. You can just see the aura of all generators within 32 meters of you until a gen's done, and then it's turned off for 16 seconds. This perk's good, I would say, especially for newer players, because you can just find that generator no more running around for ages, being confused, especially on maps like Lurie's or RPD. It just lets you know where you're going to get back onto those objectives. Uh, not particularly amazing perk, though. It's not great. Our second survivor perk is a Laurie Strode perk. It's 16th time on the shrine, we have Soul Survivor. Every time one of your mates is killed, you get a token of this perk. And for each token, it makes it harder for the killer to read your aura from more and more distance. But if you are the last survivor, the Soul Survivor, you get 75% faster speed on gens. Okay, ignore that one. But you do also get a 50% action speed increase while opening the exit gate or the hatch. So you can really zoom through an exit gate opening and escape just under the killer's nose if you've got this perk and if you've got wake up as well and combine them absolutely just do the gate so fast and our first killer perk this week is a blight perk it's fourth time on the shrine we have a dragon's grip after you kick a generator if anyone touches it within 30 seconds they will scream revealing their location and be exposed for one minute obviously allowing you to know that there's someone at that generator and you can go and try and chase them down However, annoyingly, it's got an 80 second cooldown, which seems 
very significant for a 30 second effect. So you kick the generator for 30 seconds if they touch it, it happens, but if they don't touch it, after the 30 seconds, then it's on an 80 second cooldown. So from the time that you kick the generator to the time that you can kick another generator and get value, it's nearly two minutes, which I'm not a huge fan of. And our second killer perk is a pig perk. It's night time on the shrine. We have make your choice, another exposed perk. When a survivor saves another survivor, the person who did the unhooking gets exposed for one minute and screams. Again, allowing you the ability to go over there and knock them down straight away. Absolutely super, pairs up with a bunch of different perks. Uh, actually quite a big fan of Make Your Choice right now. Okay, so I had such a fun time playing uh, Survivor last week. Uh, so let's start off with this again. Uh, we've got Yoichi here because he's the only guy who's got an RPD badge. I'm still trying my absolute damnedest to get this stupid achievement, Outbreak Breakout. Open the exit gates and escape from RPD 20 times. So you've got to actually be the one who finishes opening the gate and escape. So I'm bringing in RPD offerings. And of course our perks this week, Visionary and Soul Survivor. And also wake up because literally this is all I want. I want the RPD thing. So I'm going to survive. I'm going to hide. I'm going to do everything I can to get that bloody gate open. No. You. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, 2v1. Come on, RPD. Give me that sweet, sweet RPD. I'm going to just crab around the map waiting for everyone else to die. No, I'll I'll do the gens, I'll do the gens, but if they all seem to be dying, fuck them. God, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Who the hell burned this? Who the hell burned this? Because I hate them. Uh, right, well, I guess we'll just do some bloody generators then. It's Legion? Dude, no. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, next game. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Why? Why? Thanatophobia Legion. Oh, my God. Like, I'm sorry. I know there's probably Legion players out there, but this Thanatophobia Legion shit is the absolute worst to play against. Oh, it's so dull. Okay, well, you know what? Two gens, three hooks. It's not the end of the world yet. It may be coming, but not quite yet. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Okay, well, the chase goes on. Hopefully my team's out there doing some mad shit. Oh my god. It's just catching up with me so fast here. Ah. Right, well, three gens. Not terrible, I guess. I'm gonna be super, su super surprised if I get out of here. Alright, you did that. I'm pretty sure he's got a uh, discordant, so, you know, if we do two people on one generator, he's going to know that we're together. So, instead of that, let's absolutely split it up and see if we can uh, get some value that way. Oh? Oh? Oh, shit! Interesting. I've got wake up, so I could literally just clonk this gen out, this gate out. Oh no! Rebecca's doing it. You're doing great, Rebecca. How the hell are we surviving this? Not too bad. Are we going in here, Rebecca? Are we going on a bloody suicide mission? We're not. We're not. Okay, bye! I blame skeleton gods. Is she going in? She is going in? There's no point in going in. Rebecca, let's bloody get the hell out of here. Alright, well, that ate my RPD offering, which is so annoying. Okay, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I've just recorded two games, and they went great, but I hadn't pressed record on my OBS. What planet am I on? This never happens recently. 
Right, I think this is my last RPD offering. Can I get one more tick of my achievement? Can I get it? Yeah. All right, let's bloody do this. Uh, first order of business is... Oh, it's a bloody Wesker. Holy shit, that terror radius is ridiculous. Well, he's probably hunting me with lethal pursuer. That's fun. Okay, it's generator time. It's attacking someone, it's not me. That makes me happy. Let's do the gens. We need to get some gens done fast. Hopefully there's someone on the other side of the map just smashing the gens. Hyper focus, prove thyself, mega toolbox, all the good shit. Okay, well, if I've managed to do a generator on my own, surely they will have two any second now. Jill! May I borrow your fingers, Jill? Stick him in the gen, Jill. Okay, cool. One gen. Not awful. But if we do all the gens on one side of the map, it is awful. Because we're going to end up getting completely messed up here. Oh, whiskers. Go for the pickup, is he? He is. Well, that affords me a couple of seconds here to do my gen. So, see, I'm here. Jill was there. Nia was there. Everyone's on this side of the map. No one's doing other generators. This sucks. Oh, he dropped him? For what purpose? He's going to knock down Nia, isn't he? He's just, you're in the locker? Why, dude? Why? Well, this fucking sucks. No! The pain resonance. Oh, cool. At least we got a boon totem up. Thanks, Jill. I've got you, bro! Big? Big? Shit. Nice! We did it. We did it. Game saving plays. Game saving plays. Absolutely magnificent. Feeling pretty good about this, even though we're in a lot of danger. Hmm. Oh, hey, mate. Do you want heals? No. I gotta do this. Risky! Risky! Is he following me? Please follow me. I don't think he is. That sucks. Poor performance indeed. Oh dear. Well, let it be known that I tried. Okay, that's the most progressed generator. That's depressing. Nia, go somewhere else! Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Am I sacrificing myself for this dude? Oh, fuck. Oh, I regret. Big regret. Big regret. Big regret. At least someone's doing a generator over there. Oh, I totally respect that. Maybe everyone else is going to die. Is that my fault? No. Maybe. I don't know. But you know what? I'm here with a mission. And that's to get my achievement points. So I need to open the gate and escape. What up, Vittorio? You're doing it, Vittorio. You're doing it. Damn it. He's dead. He's dead, I'm afraid. Shit. And I swear this guy's got the world's biggest terror radius. Like, he's got distressing on or something. Basically, never not hear it. Hide. 
Perfect time to hide. Nice. Alright, he's gone to the other end of the bloody map. We could actually have this. Without me having to cheese it and let everyone die. Do you want to heal? Or are we going to do that, Jen? Not oh, Nia. We might be in trouble here. Bud. Shit. Uh, well, I might be in trouble. But at least Nia's gotten away. No Wesker. Right, where can we take him? Oh. Take him anywhere. Try and use these pallets as much as possible. What? <laughs> Fuck, I'm so bad at this. I need to get... I'm scared. He's going to kick that gen. I don't know why the hell I'm over here. Kick that gen. Yeah, yeah, run after Nia. Shit, this is so awkward. I see you over there, but pretty sure he's camping her. If I go out there, the second I go out there, I'm going to die. He's literally not leaving. Please say that wasn't the Boona survivor. It was. Oh, life just got a whole lot harder. Oh, God. She's right here. I'm sorry, Nick. Ooh. Fuck, that's awkward. Just kill her. I'm sorry, Nia. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Honestly, please, Nia. Get hooked. I need that to happen. Oh, shit. Well, he finally found me. God bloody damn it. Maybe I can save near at this point then. Maybe we can. Let's fucking go. Let's go, Nia. I'm here to save you. I love you, Nia. Get up, Nia. Oh, I hate you, Nia. <laughs> Just hook her, bro. You won the game. Fuck off. Three kills is a win, Wesker. Three kills is a win. All right. Like how I had to just use that heal to save my own life there. I'm coming to save you again, Nia. You're up, pal. You're up. You're back in the game. <laughs> He's angry. <laughs> Damn it, bro. Just hook someone. Absolute knobhead. Well, that was something. Honestly, most boring end game ever. Everyone loves a bit of Demogorgon, right? Uh, it's actually a kind of maybe interesting build, maybe toxic build. So we've got Make Your Choice and Dragon's Grip. I brought Floods of Rage, so... Whoever unhooks, I get to see their aura and which way they go. Obviously, demo, I can try and teleport to that area of the map. And lethal pursuer affects both Floods of Rage and Dragon's Grip. So, oh no, we don't see the aura. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Maybe it'll be fun. Maybe it won't. And we got some victims. Uh, let's see. So, I've got an add-on that makes so that emerging from portals is instant as silent. So, if I could put a portal down here... This could be funny, right? Oh, and I forgot to look around. All right, two there, two here. Uh, let's go this way to start off with and see how that goes. Oh, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, no. <laughs> Jeff's been fat shamed. Come on, guys. Jeff has got a dad bod, but don't shame him like this. What? Well, nice. Nice. Oh, Jeff, look at floods of rage. 
I want to destroy you and put you on the hook. Is he a dead hard gamer? Oh, I should have knew there would be a... What? On what planet? All right, whatever. Planet. Deal with it, apparently. Da -da 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 -da. Will I get the Jeff? Hey, Nia. Oh, you're not Nia. Two purple-haired survivors. Oh! Awkward. Bit awkward. It's fine. She's gonna drop it. <laughs> oh, okay. I did not expect that to happen. Nia? Has she got a flashlight? That was a dubious play there, honestly. <laughs> Had to go for it. <laughs> Alright, Panda, how about you stop whiffing the shots? Oh, no! Okay, I need to go and hook the bloody Yui. Uh, what? A bunch of terrible leaps there. Fair enough. Uh, right, I need a scourge hook. So, we're going to use... This one back here, it looks like. Oh. Hello there. Right. Okay, Bill. I respect that, I guess. Let's go behind here. Maybe dodgy, but let's go behind here. Portal over here. This could be legit, maybe. And then we are undetectable for a little bit. And I really just need to be able to get back over there. Undetectable for quite a long time here, so if they're not looking around. There we go. Bill is the choice, and I've made it. And they're choosing to heal over there, so we're coming out instantly. Not instantly, but silently. And he's make your choice. Hey, Bill! We got him. Okay, there you go. Good use of the perk there. Make your choice. And Demogorgon. We're going to kick... Oh, Bill. Why are you going to do that to me, Bill? That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Oh, hello, team. I've spotted you. Who are we going to go for? Let's go for Nia. Right, Nia. Well, you've already destroyed this pallet, so... Hello. Yoink. All right, more floods of rage. Let's do the floods. Flood her up back here. Do the exact same tactic again. Put the portal where they can't see it. Someone's loving this generator. There we go. Let's put down a portal. Are they going to stay and heal at the hook? They certainly are. All right, we're going in. Jesus, this just seems so cheeky. Demogorgon's here. Oh, wait, no. I hit the wrong one. Demogorgon's here, Yui. Will I expose her if I hit her with my shred? God, oh, this is bloody filthy. I feel dirty. I feel like I can smell myself. Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. All right? It's not my fault. It's Shrine Watch. Okay. They screamed. I see where they're going to. They're going to that gen over there. Kind of like that, because that just means I can teleport over there and get them. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what, Jeff? Just because you're a Jeff player, and I love Jeffs, you may have the hatch. Sick launch onto that car. What do you want, Jeff? Take the hatch, Jeff. 
Nice. Okay, right. Let's play it again. Little bit dull, but that's the Bill's fault. Okay, hopefully these survivors are up for a bit of a match here. Ooh, Legacy 3 Prestige. Sweet. All right, well, let's go for this person because then they can completely outplay me and make me look like a complete chump. Are you fucking joking me? I'm not. I'm not messing around with that. Right, let's do this. All right, I'm feeling a little bit downtrodden by the lack of interesting games that I've had today. Not a fan. Let's just put down a thingy, a butthole straight away and go in for the chase. It's got damn Jane Romero and she's right in front of me. Easiest injury of my life. I'm going to leave her alone, actually. I'm going to go down here and attack whoever's on this generator. Nia? Oh, what? Do people really hate playing against Demogorgon or something? What the hell is this? I've got no idea, but... I guess it is what it is. Who's that? That's Nia? Alright, I'm not interested in the Nia. We'll take the... Vittorio. Well, we've got one hook before the first gen got done, so that's a win in my books. Let's keep it rolling. Nice dead hard. But at least we burned the dead hard, right? A positive thing to take away on this one? Okay, right, one gen, two hooks. It's looking okay, and it looks like Nia was just temporarily AFK, probably getting themselves a bit of sneak energy drink or something. Uh, you know what I really want to do? I want to put a portal right upstairs here. That sounds like a funny thing to do. Uh, let's bust through this door. Put down a butthole here, here, and that was the survivor that saved over that way. So if we teleport over here, we should be able to pop out Get the drop on them. And give them a little slap. Do you reckon they went into this locker? They certainly did not. Who was it? It was the Kate. Not Kate. Rebecca? Not Rebecca. Jane? Maybe? Bloody, let it be the Jane, let it be the Jane. Give me the make your choice value. It was not. It was the bloody Rebecca. Damn it. Well, I lost out on my delicious chance of having a make your choice there. I should have just taken the Vittorio earlier. Right, do you have a scourge hook over here? I can still pull this back, but it's definitely looking a bit fucking sketchy right now. Scourge hook... Oh, someone's here. Are we getting a Sabo play? Maybe. Portal. Teleport over there. And maybe this will work. I should not have placed it in this. Oh my god. So claustrophobic. <laughs> Weird. Uh, right, they are over there. Right, we're going back in. I'm going back in. It's the person that's doing the heal. And who was that? It was the Nia. Nia, I'm right behind you. Nice. She had absolutely no clue that I was there. Undetectable. And... Son of, you son of a bitch. Come here. <laughs> Right, we can do that exact same thing. I can just rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat, maybe. That's one. And yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get the pressure here to complete this with one gen left. Nice dead hard. Respect. Fine, fuck it. Let's just get this pallet done. It's cool. And the blinds. No blinds? That's weird. We've already used dead hard, so... Monch. Right, can we do more fuckery with the scourge hooks? Okay, lovely. 
Vittorio. Hey, Vittorio. It's me. I've got to make your choice. He's not happy about it. This person over here has got dragons gripped. Value. They broke away. Damn it. I didn't see that. All right, Jane. Let's go. Let's go, Jane. Jane! All right, worth. They did a boon totem. Man, this game is bloody weird, I've got to say, at this point. Uh, let's use the second Scourge Hook. Here, we can hook Vittorio on the far one. And then we're literally in just happy fun time zone. You've been hooked. Vittorio. There he is. Rebecca's going to try and flashlight save, so let's just not look towards her. And they're going in for it. I need to get far away, though. Far away! That's what I need. Man, this build is disgusting. Absolutely filthy. Ah, shit, they saved on the close one? I was hoping they wouldn't. Oh, no! My portals! My bloody portals. Who saved? Oh! Faked it. Big brain near plays. I'll take it. Alright, seven hooks. Eight hooks now. Before they do that generator, will I manage to kill any slash all of them? Alright, we're going for the scourge hook up here. Uh, kind of. She's not wiggling. She must be dead. I'm sorry, Nia. I'm sorry. She is dead. Nice. We're actually kind of enjoying this this game. I'm not sure the survivors are having the greatest time. They seem to be a little bit ragey. Nice. My flashlight blind. Legit. Nice dead hard. Super legit. All right. They might get the last gen done here. Shit. Shit. No. Well, can we still get value? Fuck, dude, I cannot get this Rebecca. Hello, dear. Okay, are they gonna leave? I don't know if she's dead on hook, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, but the gate over there, I think they're out. I think they're just gonna leave. Maybe she's dead on hook, maybe she's not. There's only one person that's got two hooks in them. Uh, tricky game. I didn't play great. I don't have any end game. She's not dead. Hmm, the possibilities are endless. Not endless. I wish I had Blood Warden. My god, that would be so sick. Right, I saw them go over there. Yes, Vittorio. He's doing the heal as well. Legit. We got this. Vittorio, it's me. It's the killer man. Can we get the Rebecca too? That would be lush. I see you. I see you, Rebecca. That's a tree, Rebecca. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I will be taking the three kill. Three kills, 11 hooks. Basically, absolutely wrecked it. Uh, nice. Wow. I actually got some value out of... Make your choice there, mainly. Not so much Dragon's Grip. But, you know what? Exposed is on the menu this week, apparently. Uh, and we did our job. Yes. Entity, are you pleased with me? Ah, uh, GG. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope that you have enjoyed this week's episode. I appreciate it. I appreciate you very much. Uh, until next time, come follow me over on Twitch and Twitter and just have an absolutely beautiful week. Uh, take care of yourself. Panda out.